hey you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are ready for today's video i'm so excited because if you guys remember last year i did a video coloring this curly wig ginger and it went viral in my opinion on my instagram and youtube so i seen air sister had this ginger wig and i just had to get it because it's so freaking pretty and it reminded me of my other wig besides it's a little bit more red okay so this wig is actually it doesn't have that much lace so it's kind of like a fake type of closure type wig so this is how the inside looks i only had one wig like this i believe from a different company but it was actually a highlighted wig but this is how the wig looks so i'm just gonna put it on my head and so far i am in love with the color this is actually really really pretty but i really think that this hair was blonde before it got colored just because of how vibrant the color is and i i don't think anybody will be bleaching black hair to get to this color so this is how it's looking this is straight out the packaging i did not get to wash the hair or anything so i'm not too sure how the shedding went it gave me some shedding when i was installing it but i'm not too sure if the shedding is like crazy because i did not wash it so I went ahead and cut off the lace because I'm not going to be gluing this wig down so I don't need to cut it on my head. And there's not too much lace area to play with so I did not want to glue this to my head. I'm just positioning it, making it, making sure that it's nice and comfortable. I'm going to tie it out of the way so I can work on the hairline area. The hairline area is literally the most important part because that's the only part that you have to work on to make it look natural so i'm just going to take out the whole perimeter now that i got all of those pieces out i'm gonna go ahead and trim it down so i can start doing the edges take your time with this and don't cut it too straight across because this is gonna look fake and keep in mind this is a colored wig so it's very easy for it to look wiggish okay so make sure you're doing this really really good even if you have to go in and pluck a little bit of hair out from the front area don't pluck too much hair out because you don't want the lace to look mad all right i'm going in with the afo g styling foam and i'm going to start sculpting sculpting the hair at the front she know my coffee so long long so i'ma give it that i did it i did it i did it cause anywhere you go i did it i did it i did it yo Yeah, yeah, my bitch, y'all know 
Slim with so with the body yard. Girl, tell me I forgot the yard. Make a bigger ball for the mama. You don't want no drama. I've been feeling you forever. I've been feeling you forever. I've been feeling you forever. Okay, and once you're done, you're going to, once you're satisfied with your edges, you're going to go ahead and tie it down using your desired scarf. I'm using my Tropic Touches head wrap. I do have some in stock right now. I will link it down below if you're interested in getting you one. I'm going to tie this down for five to seven minutes and you could blow dry it on warm air and cooled air. I'm taking some more of that mousse and I'm going to put it on top of the hair and also at the ends so the curls can pop through a little bit more. While I was doing this, it was giving the, I was pulling out some of the hair. So, yep. I'm just making sure that the hair can be a little bit more flat and not too poofy because I don't want it to be poofy. I want it to have more of a sleek type look. So this is how it's coming out so far. I always recommend washing your wigs before you put them on, but this one I wanted to do straight out the packaging just to see how it looks. And I didn't have patience to wait for it to dry. I'm going to start concealing the part using my same LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and I'm going to just put that down the part just to make sure that everything is seamless then I'm gonna take off the head wrap and this is how it's looking. This is basically the end look. I did go ahead and go in and fix some of the edges just because it was a little bit messed up, but this is the finished product. And if you wanna go in and make this be stuck a little bit more, you can go in with your preferred hairspray. I'm gonna use the Erica J hairspray just to make sure that the edges and stuff are staying down longer. So I'm going to spray that onto my edges brush and then I'm going to swoop exactly how it is. I'm going to just swoop it on top with this hairspray. Alright you guys, this is basically the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have all AF Sister links in the description box so you guys can check them out. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye! I just left you in the silence I just brought you out like